Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to do my second tea time and I got my tea here and I got a new tea with licorice and lemon and I love licorice and I love lemon so I hope it's going to be good but now it's super hot and today I am going to talk about me, my boyfriends and my my and my boyfriend's trip to Iceland that we had this summer. I don't really know what to talk about and what to tell you but I think I will tell you a little bit. I will tell you what we did and also some things that you can think about before going to Iceland and when you are on Iceland. So Iceland. Uh, I have wanted to go to Iceland for such a long time because I'm fascinated about that country, um, about the landscape and yeah, just it seems like a very f awesome country in some way and I know when we told people that we were going to Iceland like everybody was, oh, I also want to go there. So we went and the only thing people said to us was remember that Iceland is expensive and okay it is but um, <laughs> Iceland is not the country that you travel to for have a vacation like if you're going to the sun for a week it's not a vacation like that and <laughs> you're not going to Iceland to shop so if it's not cheap I don't really mind it's not the most expensive country in the world um, but just <laughs> The things that funk with the mind when you are in Iceland, it's um, the currency is it's like one beer or one drink costs like maybe one thousand seven hundred Icelandic crowns, <laughs> and it's like maybe fifty Swedish crowns. So that was a little bit hard to learn because it's not it's so different and now I look really funny so that was a little bit hard uh, we did exchange some money before we go um, for like the fly bus and stuff like that so uh, we didn't we did exchange some money um, for just the flight uh, bus from the airport and that's one thing you can keep in mind. Iceland is not a big country, but it's everything is really far away from each other. Okay, so we flew to Iceland and we flew from Kastrup in Copenhagen. And it took like two and a half hours, I think. And we, when we get off the plane, it was like, I think they have two airports in Reykjavik or near Reykjavik, near Reykjavik, it's so far away, um, and we took a fly bus from the airport to the bus station and you could take it to your hotel. This bus service was super good. If you wanted to have pickups by your hotel or to the bus terminal, it was super easy. So. I can definitely recommend that. Uh, Taking a taxi is going to be expensive. Um, the bus, I don't know how much it cost, but it was much. And you can go to your hotel. And we lived at a hostel with an own room near the ocean. It was a super good hostel. The name was Oddson. It was a little bit odd. It was like green walls. I don't know if I took any pictures. But it was a really good hostel. We had breakfast and the view from the breakfast was amazing. And it took like maybe 
10 minutes to go to the center of Reykjavik. The center of Reykjavik is not much to see. Uh, I was not impressed or so, but it was a cozy little town. Pretty old houses, a lot of graffiti. I love that. And it was a nice little town. And I need to do my face mask soon. The tea was good, but it's still too hot for me. Um, and so, yeah, the town of Reykjavik is not much to see. You can go through the town like in 20 minutes or something. But there are really nice little places to eat. We ha ate at a little pub. This was super good. And my boyfriend that loved beer. There was a lot of beers. And we also ate at a very nice restaurant that called Nostra. Uh, it was a 10 course dinner I think. And I eat the vegan menu. So they had vegan menu. And it was not hard to find any vegan food or vegetarian food. It was very easy and they are good at English at Reykjavik or in Iceland because if you're not from Iceland you don't going to understand a thing they say. But we understand some things because it's almost the same that in Swedish. So yeah, um, we had one day when we were going uh, around in Reykjavik and we went to the biggest shopping mall that was not impressive at all so <laughs> we didn't even need a day and we went around walked around a little bit in Reykjavik so have warm clothes and good shoes with you because it's <laughs> not a warm country we had like the best planned vacation ever because when we went there we were there for five days I think and uh, four of those days were the best days with weather on Iceland for like the whole year so we were very lucky but we bought raincoats before we go and uh, that was a good idea the other days in Reykjavik or on Iceland, I mean, we were on uh, the Blue Lagoon. It's the world known spa. It's uh, hot springs. And that was amazing. I was so relaxed that day. I really needed that. And it was so awesome to be there. We were there a whole day and we also eat, ate at the restaurant they had. And it was such a nice place. But bring a swim cap before you go. Because my hair was destroyed for like two weeks after that. Because it's minerals and stuff in that water that makes your hair like super big. I talked about this in one video when I came home from Iceland. So, but visit the blue lagoon it's totally worth it we took a premium package and you should buy a package before you go because i think you can get in without but there is a chance that you have to wait in line for hours to get in because it gets full and the people that doesn't have bought a ticket for it will or have to wait and the weather when we were at the Blue Lagoon was the worst weather when we were there. It was rainy and windy and foggy. But it didn't matter. You didn't feel the rain when you were in the Blue Lagoon. So that was good. So don't care about the weather. You can go there even if it's rainy. Because you won't feel it. And I really liked it. It was amazing. One of the other days we were at, we bought a trip, I think it was called the Golden Circle Premium, I think. So it was a whole day with bus rides and that is a very good thing to do because it's so much to see 
but it's so far away everything and then you have to rent the car and then you have to drive and then you don't know where it's good to go first and you also have to think about the tickets for everything and plan everything so I can really recommend to take a trip or a guidance tour uh, we went I don't remember what they were called but I can leave it up here and the day we had it was I think it was the golden circle yeah golden circle plus lava tunnel so first in the morning we went to a lava tunnel and it's one of the longest I think it was um, 1.3 kilometers and it was so cool to be in the lava tunnel uh, the guide was Swedish but she talked English and you walked around in there but you had to have a helmet on and you have to walk inside of the guidance and that was really awesome and they talked a lot about how it was made and stuff like that and that was super cool so we were there at I think maybe around an hour and walk in the tunnel and like that and then we had three more stops with the bus and uh, first it was the geysers the hot water that like pew, up from the ground and sadly enough that was a lot with the nature in Iceland it's destroyed by the tourists and I was so sad to hear about that these geysers that are spraying up water in that area we were it was only one that was active because people has thrown rocks into them and clogged them the thing I liked about our guide at the bus it was just we come to the place and she talked a little bit about it and then we could go as we wanted and I like that I hate when it's like tours and they talk about everything and you are not allowed to go anywhere so that was super awesome and you should really look on geysers if you ever go to Iceland and the next stop yeah it was a waterfall Guldafjell Guldafall I think it's called and it is it's not the highest, but it's the longest waterfall on Iceland and it was like in three steps and we went down to the... you could go to the top or like in the middle of the fall and we went to the middle of the wall and it was so magnificent, it was so freaking big and it was super cool, I have never seen a waterfall like that like so near and <laughs> you could like go it was just like a little rope between you and the waterfall and it was so co cool and yes the surroundings with the mountains and the grass and everything it was super cool it was a lot of people but it was a big fall so you you could see something and you could take pictures and everything it, I really like that waterfall. I think I like waterfalls. <laughs> so that was awesome. And the last stop on that tour was a national park. And it was also a place where, okay, I don't really know this in Sweden, Swedish, so I don't know how I can explain it in English. You know the plates that the earth is on that make earthquakes? Quacks, earthquakes and stuff like that these plates in that national park was a place when there were split the European and American plate and it divided like a big big crack so you had the European side and the American side and a big ass lake and <laughs> it you we went up on a outlook I think it's called 
where you can see all the lakes and little houses and stuff and the mountains surrounding and then we walked through a bit of the crack where the European and European and American crack plates and <laughs> if you like nature I think you're going to love Iceland even if you don't like nature I think you're gonna love Iceland too because it's such difference from Sweden it's a lava country they have so many volcanoes and lava stones so it's a really different landscape that's in Sweden and I think in the m most of the world and that was so cool to see and also it was a very a very calm country I know I read about it before we went and the things you should be worried about is nature no pickpocketing, no firearms, no criminals just <laughs> the surroundings and the nature and I felt so safe even if we went out at night I felt so safe it it was perfect for me if you don't like big cities when lots of people go to Iceland it's calm it's it's a nice country and the last thing I can tell you uh, we went to another thing uh, we went for the Falos museum where they have a lot of penises yes <laughs> It's a museum full of penises. Animals, penises mostly, one human penis and a lot of whale penises. And it was so strange to be in a room with other people and look at penises. But I, I think it I liked it in some weird way. See if you go to Iceland and go to Reykjavik, go and look at the penises. I can really recommend the penises. And that was all we did on Iceland. But I can really recommend Iceland. I would love to go back sometime. Uh, so yeah, it's one it's the best vacation I have ever been on. And I, I if somebody said to me that I have to move to Iceland, I would just say fine teach me the language and I go. I really loved it. It was my kind of weather. It was my kind of people. I super loved it. So I hope you enjoyed this tea time. I haven't drunk my tea yet but it was good and I really hope you liked this video and if you want more tea times press like and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in my next one. Bye!